Hey, man, hold on. Mm. Is this thing on? Would let me do it on IG Live. So anyway, hello, beautiful people of Instagram and beyond. It is I, yours truly, Mickey J, one dope girl, Michelle, however you know me as. Just me, only me. Oh, I want to talk to y'all today about be love, be love. What do I want to Let's see? I guess I should turn it to a tear. There we go. Go on. Catch it. Catch it. There we go. Yes, good. <laughs> the Empress. This is more than just about like love as far as um with interpersonal relationships. I'm talking about like for me, for example, what I'm pouring into things that I love, um, my craft, everything. It's been going amazing so far. I've I've run into some rough patches here and there, you know, things that are causing me to really reshape um, my identity, who I am, what I do, what I represent, um, you know, who I've been in the past, who I am presently, um, where I'm going as far as future wise. And I guess I just I just had this on my mind to talk to you guys about. So, yes, um, thinking about all this stuff is um, helping me to decide, OK, how do I want to present Um how much of myself do I need to pour into this? And I know time, energy, money is always a big factor when it comes to us artists. And it can be sometimes, uh, you know, of a subject or um, I guess, what would I call it? A, a point of stress for a lot of us. I know for me, there was a time where like, you know, trying to, um, I mean, down to my physical image. My hair has always been like an issue for me. Um, not only just because its curl pattern requires a lot of love and care, kindness, <laughs> and the all the above. It's um, it's a cornerstone of how I present myself um, as far as me as the artist, as the tarot reader, as the poet, and even as the model. And so I had a lot of trouble um, deciding this and kind of handling things because. A lot of this stuff requires help. Um, there's a lot of my headshots that I look back and I feel like I haven't presented myself 100. And I'm like, well, it is because um, I haven't been putting, not necessarily the work, the effort and consistency into it, but I haven't been showing uh, the effort a lot of love. I think this is what's going to help a lot of us in the long run when it comes to, um, you know, just getting things into balance there we go temperance temperance y'all you see how she has those two cups there she's trying to mix old with new uh she's got her foot in the water one on land just really trying to get things into perspective there and i know that a lot of us have had a lot of balancing acts that have been going on uh we're trying to juggle between okay this is what i want to do but this is what the fuck i've been presented with excuse my language <laughs> And for a lot of us, oh my gosh, let me see, let me see here. Uh, shoot. You know, we're trying to figure out, okay, when are the fruits of my labor going to pay off? When am I going to get to, you know, here, this abundance area here? And it's just been, a lot of it for you guys, it's been chaotic. Good old tower there. Uh, a lot of conflict. And social media has been tearing your ass up or your thoughts <laughs> if it's not the phone or the electronics it's your um your own mental processes and it's it's been kind of stressful for a lot of us we're like okay we're thinking okay when we hear the words put in the work put in the effort we're thinking this like it's just non-stop tedious hard and just energy draining time draining no 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 it's not like that you can still look good and get the work done <laughs> look how good she looks yes yes you know again as long as you know as long as you know what is valuable to you as long as you know and then we have the uh high priestess here about your intuition you know do the research on what is going to help you um have a more streamlined process to get to where you're going as long as you know what's valuable to you what is going to lead you to your eventual field of abundance then when you work on things from a place of passion from a place of love from a place of care, from a place of excitement, you're going to see so much turn around, you guys. I, you know, I don't really care how people view uh, tarot or divination, uh, whatever have you, because I feel like it's an excellent tool for me personally to make sense of my life. It's an excellent storytelling tool. I mean, shoot, look, it's it's telling a whole lot from these cards, just from their images, and then even from their meanings alone. And then it just reminds me, too, that I have the power to make uh, my manifestations happen. And as long as I treat, I mean, shoot, treat everything with love, care, passion, 
Because, for example, for me, like with uh, the way that I treat my hair, I want to be able to be part of uh, the creative process and how I present my creative image. And so instead of thinking, oh, this is going to take hours, it's like, no, 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 we're going to uh, think about not only, oh, I have to do this. No, I get to do this. No, I uh, am excited to do this. Oh, no, I get a chance to showcase um, my um, my talent, what I'm good at, what uh, makes me happy, what uh, I truly love. I get to put all of that into uh, what is, I mean, essentially important to me. So I hope that helps a couple of y'all, even if you're not an artist, you know, it's just, it could be everyday tasks. Like remember to be grateful for the things that you were wishing for back when you didn't have them. Like, Hey, I get to go to work. I get to get some money. I get to get resources. Hey, um, I get to, uh, what's a good one? Um, I get to dress up. For example, um, I was a hand-me-down kid, <laughs> but I'm in this period of life. Like, okay, I'm an adult now. I get to. Um, be playful and creative with the way I want to present myself. I don't, um, you know, I have the opportunity, not necessarily like that. I don't have to share anymore. Like I get the opportunity for it to be um, in my hands, essentially. I, I get to take up the reins. I get to be in charge. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I will check back with y'all in a while. My IG, you're going to see some changes here and there. My website. Um, my tarot and astrology is probably going to have to go on a separate page. This is just too big to clam into the dope girl one. You have my uh, performance and poetry and my modeling. And then you have like tarot. I mean, it's still going to be there. It's just going to be in collaboration posts. But I'm really excited about what I got going, man. I'm finally getting on the ball. Like I'm just for the first time in my life, man. And I know I say this so many times. Like I'm, I've really been smiling a lot y'all lately and i hope that that smile gets to be contagious amongst everybody who sees this post so love light ashe ashe so it is have a wonderful hump day wednesday let's get to the end of this week bye take care now what you say now what you say you original you're not a cop